Hello and welcome to Broke Boy Boating, otherwise known as BBBB. Uh, today I'm going to be creating some templates. I stenciled all those out in my last episode. Uh, and then I'm going to be using them handy dandy router. And uh, yeah, by the end of this episode, I should have all of the templates I need to start cutting out some actual lumber and plywood uh, to start building my boat. So here's the plan of attack. I'm gonna lay all these traces out, cut them out, and it'll leave an indent in the uh, uh, masonite. I used masonite instead of MDF. And then I will, to make it see clear, I'll use a Sharpie, draw that out on the MDF, and then I'll use my router over here to cut it all out. Um, but so it leaves like this little mark right here. Uh, it's a little, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit kind of weird. Um, I'm gonna leave like a little wiggle room when I make these so that uh, I'll be able to correct it when I actually cut out the plywood with uh, sanding and stuff like that. So, yeah. There we go. I'll keep these just in uh, just in case, but I can toss these. Here are the uh, template outlines. Um, labeled everything according to my stencils. Uh, now I'm going to route it out, and so you see there, just like. Uh, Really little piece of masonite. I'll cut these all out and then start some more templates. I felt like I was getting too ambitious is the right word. All right, uh, so here's a time lapse or whatever of me cutting all of these out. So, so it looks like really not so great. Um, but I'm going to be using a jigsaw when I use the actual timber. Um, so I feel like this is okay for that. Um, I think the more practice I get with this router, I think it's going to be a lot better. Um, this is actually my first time ever using a router, so we will see how this progresses. One done. Ah.
All right. Stem done. Breast hook. It'll look like. Breast hook done. Floor timber done. Transom knee done. Oh, yeah. My ears are ringing, and uh, my dumbass forgot my ear protection. Learn for me. Wear ear protection. All right, so here's something that I thought I would uh, cover really quick, just a tip if you guys are doing this. Um, I wouldn't cut out these frames or these notches um, in your templates um, because depending on the timber that you're using for the batten's chine and the keel, uh, the you should use the true um, dimensions of the uh, keel, the battens and stuff. Because uh, right now I think the uh, template or the, the plans uh, call for, um, I think this is uh, uh, one inch, um, one inch pieces of uh, timber. But depending on what you actually use and what you actually, um, uh, what the actual dimensions of the lumber are, uh, you should use that rather than just the um, plans. Uh, so I left spaces where they're supposed to be, little little markings where they're supposed to be, and I'll transfer that to the um, actual pole, um, and I'll mark out what I'm supposed to be taking out um, when I get the lumber that I'm gonna be using for the batten's keel and uh, uh, chine. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna finish doing frame one and then I'll move on to frame two and then the transom. Uh, I might actually have to retrace the transom because if you noticed in my last video, I didn't do the flippy thingy um, for that. So uh, I'm probably just gonna do this off camera because last episode was extremely boring because I was just tracing stuff out and uh, I felt like um, it's kind of a waste of time for me to just sit there and film the entire thing. Uh, everything's basically the same. I just cut it out, uh, driving pretty hard into this wood, take a Sharpie, measure it out, use the router over there, uh, try to keep it as straight as possible. Uh, I'm not worrying too much about mistakes because I'm just going to be sanding all out and uh, using a um, jigsaw, which will give me uh, straighter cuts. Um, then this is just for the basic shape. Um, so yeah, uh, if I think of anything else that I think would be helpful, um, I will be filming that. Um, but other than that, uh, by the time this video is done, I'll have all of my templates out. Um, and I may even have time to go to, well, actually it's Sunday. Oh yeah, today is Sunday the 29th. All right, when it comes to frame number two, uh, I was saying that I was gonna leave parts out, like I'll leave this bat notch out and the chine notch out over here. Um, but since this is frame two, the keel is gonna end up being right here. And then behind it is gonna be the floor timber. And so this is just a uh, drainage hole. So I'm definitely just gonna cut that out as well. But uh, yeah, progress is slowly moving along. All right. so. Finished cutting out almost everything. Uh, definitely gonna redo the transom because uh, my tracing kind of fucked it all up. Um, but so now I'm just gonna be able to trace these out and then do what I need to do with them. Like the stem, I'll need to cut two out and then laminate them together. Same with the transom knees. I'm gonna use two. Um, breast hook and then just kind of shaping them up. So that'll be over here and then over there. So that'll be the frame number one. Frame number two will look with the floor timber down bottom. 
This will stack up nicely right there. And then gusset, it's gonna go right on top of that. And then the deck beam right here will go underneath the uh, side frames. So that will look like that. Yeah, you guys get the idea. So, um, let me see if I can go to uh, Crosscut or maybe Dunt Lumber, see if they got a deal on some marine ply. So I can start on the stem. I think I'm gonna do all of my glue up stuff first, or my laminate stuff. So I'll do the stem, the transom knee, and the breast, breast hook. Yeah. All right. I apologize, I couldn't uh, wait to trace all of my uh, templates out, um, but I went to Dunn Lumber and picked up some marine plywood from Aquatech. Uh, I got a gift card for Christmas, uh, so it really didn't cost me anything, but uh, grand total was around 75 bucks for this one sheet of uh, three quarter inch. Um, so I'm gonna take the like most out of I can out of uh, this one sheet of plywood uh, as I can. So um, no mistakes. Um, what I've done here is so I took the stem uh, the templates and I traced them out, and not all of the uh, corners were correct because I was using a router. I wasn't using a, a jigsaw. Um, I'm using the factory edge uh, for as much as I can. Um, and then instead of just tracing this crappy uh, job right here out, I just took a point there to point there and drew a line. Um, same with all of these. All of the spots that I know are supposed to be uh, perfect straight lines. Um, I just point took two points and then used a uh, uh, drywall ruler drywall straight edge to line those up uh cleaned up these areas right here um so now i'm gonna use my handy dandy jigsaw thanks dad um and uh cut this out and then uh i figured since i i don't want to um do two stencils and have to redo two of these and then uh mess with the uh, finished product. I'm just gonna use, cut one of these stems out, or one part out, and then use that as a uh, tem uh, template for the other one, since I'm going to be um, laminating them together, just to a step out of uh, fairing everything. And the same goes for the transom knee. So, here we go. So far off I got, I, uh, I'm not sure how much that is going to affect everything. Uh, probably going to have to do it again, which is uh, a really big bummer, if you ask me. Um, these, I know I was going to have to fair them out right because transferring these curves was kind of difficult. Um, they're supposed to be like that, and then the uh, stem goes right here. And then I forgot to drill my uh, pilot holes, or whatever they call it. You know, the, the drill, you drill it in, and then you put the, put the, put the saw in, and then you're, 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 you
that I feel a little bit more comfortable. I, I'm more comfortable doing the uh, stem here. I uh, pre-drilled a couple pilot holes, so I'll just go, 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 go. go. Um, yeah. Stem, part one. Marine scrap, one of many. Rust tuck, which will probably laminate today. Um, I'm gonna fare a little bit of this, you know, sand it down, shape it a little bit before I, actually, no, I should probably make it almost the exact same and then I'll be able to glue it and then fare it out as long as I keep this straight edge right here. And this will be my um, point of truth. I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, I am so excited. So yesterday I finished cutting out everything um, and out of the plywood. And then I had a uh, surge of testosterone and just felt like uh, trying to mess with the epoxy here. And um, I don't know, I think I might have to uh, sand all this down and redo it. I don't know, you know, I don't know. It's not, I guess it's pretty hard. Um, it'll probably be fine, but since it's the breast hook and it's um, going to be holding together a ton of stuff. I feel like I might need to recut this out. Also, I'm not super happy with the lines, um, but that's okay. Um, I might save that for another day, but right now I am going to uh, fair out the stem so they're nice and uh, even together. I'll probably use um, uh, some hand tools, maybe, maybe I'll use the router. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. It's not too bad. The differences between the, um, two stems. I did really well on the jigsaw. I mean, I did pretty well on the jigsaw this, this go around. Um, but I'm probably just going to use some hand tools and, uh, even this out. So it's nice and straight. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, some spots are a little proud. So I'm gonna sand those down and then uh, I'll sand everything uh, and get some epoxy on this. And um, I'll probably go to Home Depot or Dun Lumber or, and see what kind of lumber I can get uh, so I can start cutting out uh, frames and timbers and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll be on our way to building the boat. Woo! Flattened everything out. My handy dandy teeny tiny hand plane. 
make sure everything is nice and smooth out here cleaned up the 90 degree angles for the uh, frames here and then for the uh, keel I mean definitely gonna have to use a little more filler when I laminate the or join these two together um, but yeah uh, I might start laminating this actually I think I'm gonna do the um, the keel transom knees that's what I'm trying to say So, frame number one, basically done. I just need to make some gussets and I'll be able to epoxy these joints together. Uh, I still need to make one more of these in the deck beam. And uh, then I might move on to the transom today. Might not. I don't know. I'm recording all of that, but. Uh, so I cut all these out, it'll end up looking like this, and with the other one on the other side. Uh, so I finish, finish this one, finish that one, make make two of these, one more of these. The deck beam, and then the whole frame for number one. Um, I still haven't made the uh, template for the transom, uh, but I might be able to finagle my way into using it uh, if I do it right. So we'll see where that takes me. All right, one boat, some assembly required. So I've laminated my stem and one of my uh, transom knees uh it's taking a little bit longer to cure this is still pretty sticky um i think it's just because my garage is pretty humid and it's not it's pretty cold um cut everything out uh not too happy with a couple of these cuts um but that's gonna be okay that's you know gonna be on the other side uh, but i am gonna be sanding everything down fairing everything out so at the right angles um, and then I can start putting everything together. So that was this 
episode. I will catch you guys when I uh, when I want to. Yeah.